I'm Annie. And I'm Holly. From the Youth Room at the BB Library, and we are so glad you could join us today for Sing Along Stories. Sing Along Stories are stories that you might sing along to, or in today's case, they can be stories that are inspired by songs. So we'll read the story. And we'll sing the songs, and I hope you join in singing. Yes, or maybe you want to just sit back and enjoy. Uh, today's book is The Good Song, and this was written by Alexandria Giardino, and the illustrations were done by Penelope Dulligan. And this book was inspired by the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World, which is a mashup of two classic American songs done by Hawaiian artist Israel Kamakabivole, or Is, as he's called. So this is gonna be a little bit different than some of our past sing-along stories. You might remember in Puff the Magic Dragon or Coat of Many Colors, the lyrics, the words to the song were also the words of the story. Um, but this song, it's inspired by it. So it's gonna sort of, you might see the emotions or the feelings of the song, but the words will be a little bit different. And Holly, did you know this book beforehand or did you know the song? No, I didn't know the book at all until you pointed it out to me and I read it and I really like it too. The songs though, they're very familiar. Somewhere Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World are, are classics that have been around forever. But I started to notice um, several years back that um, the, chord the chords were different. And uh, I found out that it was because of Is. It was this version of, of the songs and a lot of people liked it so much that they have been using his chords. So, oh wow! Yeah, what about you? Did you know the book or the the songs? Yeah, I uh, read this book. I actually found it right on the shelves at the BB Library, um, and I read it for the first time just a couple months ago. And I really loved this story. It's all about family, loss, and love. And I was really struck too by the pictures in it. They're just so bright and vivid and beautiful. And I think they really um. Uh, feel like the way that song feels to me when I hear it. Um, and I did know this song, I knew Iz's version, and I also knew the original versions of the separate songs. And I loved that Iz thought to bring them together to create one song because um, they do have sort of similar messages about uh, hope and love in them. And one of the other things that I love about the songs on their own is the emotion that the singers Judy Garland and Louis Armstrong evoke and I think Iz does a really great job of uh, representing that in his version and I love the ukulele as well um, perfect for you as a ukulele player um, and I think the ukulele sort of shows this lovely uh, simplicity and innocence to the song that gives it a really lovely touch. Well, would you like to hear just a little bit of the two songs how we kind of put them together? You know I would I always do. <laughs> just a little taste here. Here we go. Somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds fly, and the dreams that you dare to. Why, oh, why can't I? Ice trees of green, red roses too. two songs together. That was great. Thank you so much, Holly. Well, now that we know a little, uh, some of the lyrics to the song and the tune as well, uh, let's see the story that this song inspired. Uh, go ahead and read the good song and then we can sing this good song together. How does that sound? That sounds great. <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. The good song. A story inspired by Somewhere Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World. Story by Alexandria Giardino. Pictures by Penelope Dulligan. On the day the baby boy was born, his grandpa held him and whispered, Listen. Wind murmured like familiar chants. Rain plinked like ukulele notes. Waves pounded like a drumbeat. The world is singing you a lullaby, grandpa said. What a good song. The baby boy closed his eyes and dreamed.
The little boy grew, and Grandpa took him to the ocean. They talked story, and they listened. What a good song, Grandpa said. What's a good song? Grandpa touched his heart, then the boys. It always goes from here to here. Sometimes it's quiet, Grandpa said, so you must listen carefully. The little boy listened carefully, but all he heard was his stomach growling. Time to eat, Grandpa said. Every night, the boys Ohana, his mama and daddy, uncles and aunties, and cousins too, gathered to eat together. And every night, after dinner, they played music together. Their songs filled the night along with the wind, the rain, and the waves. What a good song, Grandpa said. The little boy wanted to join in. His ukulele was old and worn, but that made him love it even more. He held his ukulele so tight, his mom tucked him into bed with it. Way up high, stars sparkled across the dark sky. The little boy closed his eyes and dreamed. Everywhere the growing boy went, he carried his ukulele, and he listened just like Grandpa taught him to. But instead of music, the boy heard beeping, honking, and roaring. The world was changing. His family was changing too. One day, Grandpa's big heart broke, and just like that, he was gone. The boy sat outside alone in the dark. He listened, but he didn't hear a thing. And then he went down to the ocean. The warm water lulled him. He no longer felt the weight of the world. The boy closed his eyes and dreamed. Listen, Grandpa seemed to whisper in the wind, the rain and the waves. The boy listened carefully. And that's when he heard it. Beneath a palm tree, a musician strummed a ukulele. He sang a song about dreams and wishes, blue skies, and the colors of the rainbow. He sang, I love you. What a good song, the boy said. What's a good song? A little girl asked. The boy touched his heart, then the girl's. It always goes from here to here. And the good song rose up over the rainbow and out into the wonderful world. Listen. Now, in the back of this book, you will actually find the lyrics to the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World. Uh, you will also find an author's note that talks a little bit about the two songs and the artist Israel Kamakabibole or Is who mashed them up together and the importance of this song and the meaning that it's had to people all around the world and I'd like to share that with you now. This fictional story was inspired by the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World, recorded by Hawaiian musician Israel Is Kamakavivole. Some songs are so good, they touch millions of hearts around the world. Somewhere Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World is just that kind of song. The song, a medley, brings together two American classics, songs about longing, hope, and love that have moved people for generations. Over the Rainbow, written by Yip Harburg and composed by Harold Arlen, was first sung and made famous by Judy Garland for the 1939 film, The Wizard of Oz. It's a song about dreaming of and believing in a better life someday. What a Wonderful World, written by Bob Thiel and George David Weiss, was first recorded by the legendary jazz trumpet player, Louis Armstrong, in 1967. And the song celebrates the wonder that surrounds us. 
When asked about the song's message, Armstrong said simply, love baby, love. Each of these songs has inspired artists from around the world and from many different musical backgrounds to create their own versions, but only one person brought them together. Iz was a native Hawaiian musician who played ukulele and sang traditional, popular, and original songs in both English and Hawaiian. His music celebrated and sought to protect the Hawaiian people, their culture, and land. Iz was already well loved in Hawaii when he recorded Somewhere Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World. For years, Iz had been playing around with his medley. Then late one night in 1988, with just his voice and a ukulele, he recorded the song in one take. In his version, he changed some of the original song's lyrics and medleys, and he added a melancholic minor chord that contrasted with the happy lyrics. He created his own unforgettable song, one that was sad and poignant, yet full of hope and possibility. When his medley first aired on the National Public Radio in 1996, Iz's gentle voice rose up and over the airwaves and across oceans, reaching a new and global audience. People stopped and listened, and often they cried. He included Somewhere Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World on his album, Facing Future, which became the best-selling Hawaiian album of all time, thanks to his medley. Somewhere Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World remind us to dream of a better world and to see wonder and love all around us. The good song is aloha. The good song is love. What a good song. So the author of this book, Alexandria Giardino, she heard this song and it made her think of this story and inspired her to write it. And she heard the song and she was thinking about uh, maybe family, loss, and of course, love. Yeah, I like the way that she describes love as something that stays with us, kind of like a, a beautiful melody, a song stays in your memory. Yeah. Um, it, it reminds me, I, my, I lost my father a couple years ago and there's a song I always associate with him, and that is a song called Morning is Broken. Mm -hmm. And it was something we sang in church, as well as I had a recording of Cat Stevens playing it as a pop song that my dad really liked. So every time I hear that song, I think about him, and um, it does, it makes me smile. It makes me feel happy. It's a wonderful memory. Yeah, that's really special. I have a song that also makes me think of someone that I've lost. Um, when I was a kid, I always heard uh, Leaving on a Jet Plane, which was written and recorded by John Denver, but I grew up with the Peter, Paul, and Mary version. And I think it was the only song I knew uh, very early in life about losing someone or someone who, who goes away. And my grandmother, who we called Tilly, she passed away when I was uh, five years old. And so whenever I heard that song, I associated it with her. And there is a sadness to it, but I think there's also a happiness too, like you were saying, because I hear this beautiful song and it reminds me of Tilly and all of my happy memories that I have with her. And I think that's sort of what happens in the good song, you know, the young boy, he loses his grandfather, but he finds a way to still be happy when he thinks of the songs that his grandfather would hear. And I also loved how the pictures really brought that feeling to life. I think you can see all of the emotions and you can see sort of the hope and the longing and the love through the illustrations. And I also love too that it's really representative and pays lovely tribute to Hawaiian culture as well. Yeah, that was special. Is would have loved it because he was so into kind of spreading Hawaiian culture and music and just his people you know, all yeah. over the world. And um, maybe it's time, should we share the song? And um, is this Somewhere Over the Rainbow? What a wonderful world. That sounds like a perfect time to share it. I can't wait.
watch them bloom for me and for you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue, clouds of white, the brightness of day, and I love the dark. And I think to myself, Thank you so much for reading and singing along to the good song and somewhere over the rainbow and what a wonderful world with us well, we hope you can join us next time for sing-along stories yep. and until then happy reading and singing <laughs> see you later